it's Andy again from the EgoCast channel, and this is a baby. This baby's name is Barbara A. And Barbara is a patron of mine on Patreon. Look how cute Barbara is. Adorable. So, um, you might notice that there's a black bar across the last name. It, it's funny that I got to do that because it's something that I am going to mention later on in this video. I don't, I don't do last names for you guys. I'm sorry if that, you know, upsets you. I'm sorry if you wanted to have your full name out there, but you know, I have an, I feel, I feel that I have an obligation to protect you guys from yourselves when you may or may not exactly know what all going on. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't, I don't do last names. I'm not going to put your full name out there. So you can understand that you not only have that protection, but that I have that belief that I have an obligation that, you know, maybe you guys don't exactly know what all exactly is going on with doing this, that, or the other things. So I'm more than happy to walk you through it by saying I'm not going to include your last name. So there you go. That's Barbara. She's a patron. Uh, that cute baby. <laughs> Another quick announcement. I am going. Uh, I got a burp. Uh, Again. I am going to be on V3XL0R Wednesday at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check that shit out. We're going to be talking about, uh, I don't know, some janitor guy. I don't, I don't know why somebody would make janitor their screen whatever anyways so v3 xl zero r go check him out he's funny um i i i got a chance to watch like half of a video because uh everything's crazy right now with the job and everything but you know he seems he seems pretty funny he's got some good music on his channel i'll tell you that much i listened to a couple of those like i kind of bopped around in them He's got some good music on there. I don't know if he's doing that shit himself or what, but he's got some good music on there, if nothing else. So, yeah, uh, check me out on, on live with him Wednesday, 10 a.m. This Wednesday, it's fucking, what, Monday right now. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow for you guys, I think, something like that. But yeah, tomorrow, 10 a.m. live. There you go. Um... And now the video. All right, 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 right off the bat, I, I just want to say, do the costumes, man. Like the costumes are fucking. They're just. They're, you, they're, it's killing me. It's just killing me with the costumes. You look fucking retarded with the costumes, man. You got. You, you got to stop with the costumes when you want people to take you seriously. Hey guys, here I am in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. That's not true, I'm actually in my backyard. Although I did hear that I live in a hotel now, so that's news to me. Alright, so, right off the bat, Onion really is an appropriate nickname for this gentleman, because there's so many layers to everything that's going on with him. I I'm happy that I did the live stream, it was fate that... Taylor was one that came on and told me about some guy. I think. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, that's that's a reference to him. Let's check him out if you'd like to understand the deeper complexities of that situation. Which I got I got to be honest with you. I watched the video. I I still don't fucking get it. But whatever. It's like a whole doxing thing. Where it's like some sneaky shit doxing type thing that I I I don't dude I don't even know. It's it sounds weird. It sounds crazy, but at the same time, there's a lot of there there. You know what I mean? So like, it, it's an onion. 
dude. Layer after layer of fucking nonsense. And he just casually throws that out in the beginning of this video because it's... But you wouldn't know otherwise. Just to hear this without knowing what's going on at a deeper level, you hear it and you go, uh, whatever. Like, but it's, it's, it's a direct jab at somebody. You know what I mean? So, right off the bat, he is making a direct jab at another YouTuber. Right? So... What, you know, whatever, take that for what it is. But unfortunately, some things have gone down with a YouTuber named Blair White that I wanted to talk about. So one of the first times Blair ever talks about me, she was bragging about how she's going to drag me. This woman loves the idea of dragging Onion Boy. See, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what dragging is. Like, it's not, like, I know, I know what a drag queen is. And I know what it means to go out and drag. Um, I don't, I don't know what it means to drag. I imagine it means to, like, pwn them. We're not using pwn anymore. We don't want to be pwnage channels. So now we're going to be dragging channel. I, I, I don't even fucking know. It's, uh, every time one of these pop culture phrases comes up, I'm just like, I'm so over it. So whatever. Anyways, so, but dude, whatever it is, we all want to do it to you. In one way or another, we all want to fuck with you somehow, you know? That's, that's why we keep making videos about you, because you're so fun to tease. <laughs> she made this hate video about me, and I call it a hate video because obviously she doesn't like me. She's not impartial to me. So, you know, hate, dislike, it's fair word. Well, see, I, I gotta tell you this. At least she liked you well enough to not use a picture of you in some fucking stupid outfit for the thumbnail. She, she at least gave you that much, you know. But I mean, I don't, I don't particularly like you, you know, whatever the character is that you fucking portray to the world, I don't particularly like that person. So if you want to say that that's you, no, I don't, I don't really like you very much. But hate is a strong word. I reserve hate for people that I actually have feelings for. Like, I don't like you, but I don't give a shit one way or another about you. I, I could, you could live, die, or grow mushrooms in your crack. I could care less. What? You know, it, it really, you, you have absolutely no no impact on my life except for the fact that I get a bump every time I make a video about you and I'm willing to exploit that at, at a reasonable pace <laughs> but yeah I'm exploiting you because you're popular and you're stupid and you're easy to fuck with that that's it don't hate you just I exploit you <laughs> last year she told me to delete my account clearly a fan I see the question I have here and I'm gonna have this question a lot during the course of this video did she just wake up one morning and go, I had a funny thought, Anision, delete your channel. Or was this a part of a greater argument in which it culminated in her saying, just delete your channel, bitch. Like, what, where is the context? I don't, I don't have it. So whenever I have a piece of evidence with no context, I dismiss it. So I dismiss this. Clearly the implication here is if your fan base is young and female. I guess that's something to be ashamed of. But when you throw shade at someone like me for that, you throw ten times more shade at Dan and Phil. Great YouTubers, by the way. Enjoy their content. Now see, here's the thing where I have a problem with people on my side. Who gives a shit what his audience is made up of? He can only in a small degree control who his audience is. You know what I mean? Like, he can't apparently help that all of his content appeals to young girls. Ah, hey, I don't know, whatever. But, but you know, I, I have a lot of females in my audience. I, I do, I have a lot of females in my audience. You know what I mean? I, I, and I can't control that, no matter how hard I fucking try. Anyway, here's my actual demographics. Mostly adults. All right. So let's, let's look at that picture that he put up there, right? He's saying that the bulk of his audience is adults, right? Now, we're, we're just looking at this, and, and here we go. Adults have one, two, three, four, five, six categories. Children have one category, right? So you're, you're padding your odds when you're going six to one. First off, just, just mentioning that straight out of the gate. But 30.6% of his audience is women 
ages 18 to 24. Now, he's been around for a long time, okay? He's been around for a very long time. I can certainly understand why he appeals to teenage girls. I can certainly understand why he would appeal to college age girls. And I can certainly understand that over the span of years, some of those teenage girls are going to inevitably become college age girls. So, you know, what, whatever you want to say. Yeah, is he right? Is the bulk of his audience adult? Sure. But 16.9% of his audience, which is a pretty, pretty healthy chunk, I mean, that's, you know, that's a good portion. That's his second, that's his second big, I mean, his, his number two demographic is 13 to 17 females. So, yeah, he's got almost twice as many 18 to 24, but like I said, there's been carryover over the years. So, yeah, I, I don't know. But let just just to just to give an example, just to just to give a, a, a comparison, this is my analytics for my my gender and, and age breakdown, right? I got a lot of ladies. A fucking 1.9% of my views, however, is in the 13 to 17 range. Now this is just for the last 28 days. This isn't like lifetime. I think it skews it a tad, but really, honestly, it doesn't skew it all that much because you have to remember the greater portion of my views have come in the last nine to ten months. So, you know, you're, you're looking at a, a pretty fairly regular occurrence. So this is 28 month or 28 days, last 28 days. I think that's like the, the default like analytic spot the last 28 days for whatever reason. That's what it is. Um, but yeah, so... 1.9% of my 1.9% of my audience is, is kids. Now, he was showing, I think he was just showing, let me see if I can find it. He was just showing uh, demographics. Yeah, female or male by age. She's got the same fucking thing going here. I don't know if this is lifetime, but dude, one. 1.9% is is fucking teeny boppers and and y'all should be getting your parents permission to watch me just saying cuz god damn it but 24% of my audience is 18 to 24 40% of my audience is 25 to 34 my audience is mostly adults like you say what you want my audience, mostly adults. And that 87% of the 1.9% of people that watch me that's female, those are your fans, dude. Those are the people that come to my videos and tell me off for you. Or, or Joy, whichever one, because you both are essentially trading fucking teen teenagers with each other. So, whatever. But yeah, that's, that's where that shit even fucking comes from. That's my 1.9%. Get it? Asshole? What an adult audience looks like? What do you want, Lilu? You want it, you want to be in the video, Lilu? Is that it? You want it, you want to say hi to everybody? If you lay on your back, I can't help you. Yeah, you go out, little wee woo. That is our least favorite dog. Alright, I'm just saying that dog is fucking adorable. <laughs> Anyway, Blair goes on to make fun of my audience some more, saying that my entire fan base are girls who just sprouted their first pew. Now, anyone with common sense knows that's inaccurate. In fact, it's downright impossible. Like, even my demographics on Twitter clearly show that the majority of my audience is 18 plus. All right. <laughs> now this, again, like this is this is fucking retarded. You know, this is this is this is the black violence statistic. The 13% of the population, or 16%, whatever it is, commits over 50% of the violent murders in this country. This is, this is the same type of thing as this. You got 13 to 17. 45%! Now, is he right when he's saying that the majority of his audience is adults? Yes. When you have six categories of adults, sure, you're going to generally have a greater portion. But 45%? 45, 45? Dude, it may not be more than half, 
But you're pretty fucking close to half. Don't worry, Blair White's credibility gets even worse. Blair says preparing this video and it feels like pushing a kid off the short bus. For fun, I almost feel bad. Let's joke around for a second. Blair White, how do you know what pushing a child off the short bus feels like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never even thought about what that would feel like. Man, me neither, but I'll be honest. This sounds like it would be too easy for me. I like my humor to be more complex. Here's Blair White yet again, proclaiming that she has dragged me. Should we give her a golf clap for that? Good job, Blair. You told yourself you dragged me, and God damn it, you're the only opinion that matters. Now right here, I kind of got to agree with him. Like, it's so easy to make fun of you, dude. Like, I don't, I don't really think any of us deserve a pat on the back for this. It's, it's like pushing a child off of a short bus. I imagine it's just fucking easy. That and the probably thousands of people who agreed with her. Ugh, facts. God damn it. See, I don't like I, you know, every. Like, what even is supposed to be the fact? There is the fact that he and like. What? Blair White again taunting me, saying, turn on your location, I want to fight. That that kind of seems like a... Th it kind of seems like... Out of context. So my question is, again, uh, what what is the context in which this is being said? Um, Did Blair wake up and say, I, I think I'm going to try and go to Onision to actually fight me? So I'm going to send this to him out of the blue. Or is this a part of a larger engagement in which she said, why don't you just turn on your location so I can fight you? So, I, I don't care about this because I, I have no context here. Threat. First of all, assuming you're not a sexist, I want to ask you guys how you would react if I said that to Blair White. By the way, I, I actually think that sex has to do with what you were born as, so that might actually not be relevant. So maybe we'll call it gender bias. If you weren't gender biased, can you imagine me saying that to Blair? People would say that I'm a psychopath. Instantly. Instant psychopath. But Blair does it to me. Oh, that's fine. And that's the double standard I'm trying to expose you guys to so you can become better people. See? This is the kind of nonsense that I'm trying to expose you guys to so that you can think for yourselves. Um, if if you did this to Blair, if, if Blair showed a video like this and said, Anision sent me a tweet saying, turn on your location so I can fight you, then my response would be, well, what was it that prompted him to send that to you? Did he just wake up and out of the blue one day decide to say, hey, I think I'm just going to send this to Blair? Or was this a part of a larger engagement in which, you get what I'm saying here, buddy? Like, I, I would look at that and go, I don't care, because I have no context here, Blair. And here's Blair White tweeting about how she thinks I'm a trash can. <laughs> that's, that's actually really fucking funny. <laughs> Blair telling everyone that I collect underwear pictures from 13-year-olds. Meanwhile, she has one example, which she did not show in her video, which, no BS, is this picture right here. This is the picture that triggered Blair White to openly state that I collect pictures of 13-year-olds. One picture of one person who someone said was 13. A 13-year-old who, by the way, has their face censored out and is appropriately dressed. That automatically triggers Blair White to tell everybody that I collect pictures of 13-year-olds. Really. Again, the degradation of this person's credibility it just keeps getting worse. All right. So, the reason why I left that picture in and I didn't blur it out is simply because of this. Uh, he uses that against people. And I, I'm, I'm more than happy to rise to the bait because I, I, you know, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. So I showed the picture of the girl. Is she dressed appropriately to me? Yeah. She looks like every fucking girl looks when they go to the gym. Be they five or fucking 550. They all wear the stretchy pants with a sports bra. They all look like that. They walk around just fucking wear, the grocery store dressed like that. Uh, fucking girls are always dressed like that nowadays. So, yeah, whatever. I don't care. Her face is covered. Sure, you can see her room, but let's be honest. The possibility of somebody who's going to see her room recognize what it is and not be a fellow Onision fan that's going to giggle with her about how awesome it is that she got her picture of herself on his video and it stirred up so much controversy. Fucking whatever. Like, do I see harm 
going on here? No, no really, I really don't. I don't see harm going on here, and I think that that's probably the why nobody gives a shit, except for all the people that want to give a shit about this. So he's got you there. You know what I mean? He's got it there. And I never said that it was bad. I never called him a pedophile for doing it. I said it was weird. I said it was creepy. Sure, because it is. Because if you get a picture of a 13-year-old, and you think to yourself, do I have an obligation to protect my audience? Is it, even though, absolutely appropriate attire, for the most part, you know, face covered, whatever, should I still do this? And I think uh, I'm holding uh, my, my, my true north here when I say that, uh, no, you shouldn't have done that. You should have just kind of went, you're underage, and I'm not going to show pictures of you on my channel because you're underage. I, I showed a picture of a baby, but is that Bar Barbara's baby? Is that my baby? Whose baby is that? I have a picture of a dog for my thing. Is it my dog? Is it really me? You know what I mean? Fucking whatever. You, nobody would even know she was 13 unless somebody said she was 13. And I think it was her that said she was 13 so everybody knows she's 13. But that's when you go, you're 13. Not going to show a picture of you. So did he do something legally wrong? Eh, probably not. No, because fucking what it what it what what even is that? But did everybody blow it up into this whole big thing and decide they were just going to convict him of being a pedophile? Yes. And I have also, I believe, I'm holding my true north here when I say that I maintain that if you want to call somebody a criminal, they should first be convicted of it. And as far as I know, he hasn't been convicted of a crime, and so. I'm not going to call him a pedophile because, but do I think it's odd that he has in the past asked for before and after pictures of before puberty and after puberty and shit like that? Yeah, it's weird. That's, there's some there there. You know what I mean? He, he's soliciting at that point. So, you know, I don't like him. <laughs> I, I don't like some of the shit that he does, but is he a pedophile? Uh, you, you'd have to show me that he's been convicted of that for me to say that he is. I, I don't think that's wrong to say. I think that I would want to be given the benefit of the doubt and thought of as innocent until I was proven guilty. If if somebody was just going to, you know, say I'm a criminal for whatever reason. So, it's, it's a giant, it's an onion, man. There's layers to this shit. Every issue is extraordinarily complex because he treads right on top of the line. He straddles the line. He is always one foot in and one foot out of bounds. And that's what it is that gives him the ability to do this kind of shit. And that's why I showed the fucking picture. I I'm not, I'm not fucking with it. Because, you know, if I get a strike for it, he should get a strike for it. If I get a strike for it and he doesn't, I'm not going to bitch about how the, the unfairness of life. Life is fucking unfair. But, <laughs> I'm also not going to let him make a video about me someday going, he won't even show the picture either. Fuck you, man. I'll show the picture. I don't give a shit. It's your video. Anyway, so I react calling her a liar. And then again, Blair White references 13-year-olds, not at all explaining why it is exactly that she spread this clear impression that I'm a pedo to a bunch of people despite her severe lack in evidence. That's kind of shady. <sighs> all right. Submit pictures you want to be in Onision videos here. Please do not post inappropriate pictures. Thank you. What is the definition of inappropriate? I would consider pictures of 13-year-old girls, in any sense, inappropriate. Because they're minors. And I think it's wrong to do that sort of shit. Because I have an obligation to protect my audience, I feel. Right? So what, what is inappropriate? Exactly. Just duty? Is that it? So if you get pictures of naked underage girls, you're just going to delete them and that's it because those are inappropriate like and, and they just broke the rule and all. Oh, what, what am I whatever am I to do? Like inappropriate pictures. What is inappropriate pictures? There is no definition for inappropriate. There isn't even a such as type of thing in that top part. So what the fuck am I even looking at here? So let's go to the second one. Step 1. 
get your account. Step two, find a topic. Step three, make sure you physically write the word Onision somewhere in pictures of yourself so we know it's you. Now see, he's not asking these girls to write that shit on their body. They're doing that of their own accord. I, I, I think it's weird, but whatever. He wants the word Onision somewhere in the picture. I imagine he accepts it on pieces of paper. Whatever. Uh, that's it. Just make sure you include your YouTube or Twitter username for credit. Fine. Please make sure all pictures posted are appropriate for YouTube. Thank you. Well, uh, there, there's a lot of things on YouTube that aren't appropriate. You know? There was a guy in the comment section that for whatever reason, he decided that he wanted to post a link to a video of like an eight-year-old girl dressed up slutty. And, and I don't even know what the fuck she was doing. I got that far. I got about two frames into the fucking thing. And I was like, nope, nope. And the motherfucker just kept posting it on the video. And I had to block his ass. And I will block your ass if you're going to do that shit. Is it inappropriate? I think so. But, I mean, you know, toddlers and tiara, that kind of fucking shit. That, that, you know, she didn't look any different than they do when they're doing their little fucking weird slutty girl shit in that fucking show and that's on TV so what's appropriate for you Greg a an example would be nice anyway here Blair White is showing public interest in physically attacking me this person's clearly a sane human being oh you bitch she wants to box you that shit would be fucking stupid and regulated and all that nonsense and of course I want to box you then Blair White accuses me of filing a privacy violation against her, which I literally did not, because how was she invading my privacy by using public content? I only file privacy claims if privacy is actually violated. Fair enough. I'll, I'll, I'll take you at your word at that. I have no proof one way or the other. So, I have no reason to not just trust you at your word, except for the fact of how often you lie, but hey. Whatever. And don't even get me started with content ID. That stuff is automatic. Also, she says, what about that girl who begged for a pics to be taken off your video? Again, Blair's talking about this person did not beg for it to be taken down. It was actually the alleged friend of this person. And also, it's pic, not pics. Singular, not plural. How am I to know that that person was actually the friend of this other person and not just a hater? Staging drama? I have no idea. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I think I've always said that too. Who fucking knows? And now for the point of this video. Blair White asking me to come to her channel for a debate. Blair White saying I hit her with a copyright claim, and then she threatens to hit me with a copyright claim. But because Blair White isn't the most honest person, she doesn't point out that Content ID actually claimed her. I'm not out there manually copyright claiming content, it's actually the system called Content ID, where it takes my videos and it automatically compares my videos to other videos on YouTube to see if the content that I have was taken. It doesn't hurt their entire channel, doesn't get a strike against them or anything, but this information isn't convenient for haters to share. They want to imply that I manually went to their channel and manually filed a claim against them. But quite frankly, about one out of every hundred hater videos do I actually watch. So how am I to know if my content was used in them? Translation, content ID. Fair enough. I never thought that it was a fucking non-automated thing. I, I, I never honestly thought that he was going from site to site and looking for videos on him and fucking with him. I, I think he may have done that a time or two for joy. I, I, I would be more than willing to say he may have done that a time or two for joy. It's entirely possible. He may not have. Uh, I don't really know. But yeah, that, that shit's pretty much automated. Now, whether or not he just all of a sudden turned on that automated feature or not, I, I don't know. But no matter what, you know, there, if it's something that you can and can't... Because I've never gotten a notification for this sort of thing, so I, I don't know. And people have used portions of my videos in their videos. So... Either it's a good system that's automated well, in which case all those strikes are valid, or it's a bad system that's not automated well that he decided to turn on, which is essentially him personally doing that sort of shit. So, I don't know what to tell you. I guess it is whatever the situation is, and I don't know what the situation is. Anyway, Blair talking about bringing up old drama, when literally a few months prior she was trying to pick a fight with me. Okay. Blair saying Joy and Jacqueline got punked by me. Blair apologizing to Jacqueline for openly stating that Jacqueline got punked by me. Blair again saying that she's going to drag me in an online debate. Blair being misleading by saying that she was banned from Twitter simply for being mean to me, and not more honestly stating that she was banned from Twitter for 24 hours because she posted a drawing of me being sexually violated by her. 
It's kind of funny. <laughs> Another question of your guys' gender bias. If I posted a drawing of me sexually assaulting a girl, it would be the end of me, would it not? So if you don't have gender bias, don't you think you should be equally outraged at Blair? Maybe. Well, see, all right. I don't think the picture of Blair fucking you is her fucking you with like a vagina or anything. I think she's probably fucking you with her dick in that picture. And that that's just funny. Like, that's funny to me for whatever reason. It's just, it's funny to me, because you're kind of a douche, and Blair's kind of cool, and I, and I think that's funny to me. But, like, if it was a picture of you fucking Blair, that's not really as funny. Like, that, what's the joke there? Like, what, where's the humor value in that? The humor is in the fact that she's transgendered, and she's fucking you, and you're kind of a bitch. There you go. Like, that's, that's the funny part. You fucking Blair... It's essentially you raping Blair. Like, what? where's the funny part in that? There's there's nothing funny in that. It's funny when she rapes you because she's trans. World's not fair, man. <laughs> anyway, over a week ago, Blair says that she's going to debate me right after she's done traveling. And here Blair says that we're going to debate next week. This is over a week ago she said this. So here's an email I sent to Blair White. She didn't respond to me, so I said, You said publicly that you wanted to drag me on your channel. I agreed to be on your channel to clear things up. And what is happening now? Are you going to move forward like you implied you would? I say you said next week, yet you have not responded with the day slash time. So what will it be? Blair White then says, You'll hear back from me in the next two days. I say okay, and then the next email, I say, so, four days have passed. I was also informed that Blair White didn't show up to a discussion with Lacey Green. So this person who has been barking and barking and barking at me for the longest time finally gets the opportunity to, quote, drag me. And I finally get the opportunity to face my accuser. And what happens? Blair White bails. And yet, Blair White still gets support by thousands. So what are we really trying to support here, you guys? Do you want to support Blair White, who at this point is clearly all talk? Or do you want to support someone who actually has evidence to back up their claims? Well, the answer to that question depends on what world you want to live in the real world or for many of you the world that is most convenient for your bias see the world i want to live in is the world where blair is trolling the shit out of you that's that's the world that i want to live in because that's funny to me i i think that blair is fucking with you i think that she is she has baited you into this debate and now she's she's using your tactics against you and she's fucking with you to try and jump up a little bit more audience to you because she knows that if she does this shit you're gonna be fucking pissed off about it and you're gonna make a video just like this and then people like me are gonna dissect the fucking shit out of this video and make you look fucking stupid so I, I wanna live in the world where you're being trolled dude that's the world I wanna live in Thank mm -hmm. you.